Hey, what's up, fellas? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today we're talking about bunting for hits and doing some work pregame to figure out what the field conditions are and, um, you know, if the field conditions are right for you to lay down a bunt for a hit or not. And so um, it's Harold Reynolds and Juan Pierre talking about it. Juan Pierre was, um, you know, a really, really good bunter, really fast guy, outfielder, great athlete. And so they're kind of talking about some of the things they look for pregame um, to determine if uh, they should bunt or not. And in this part, Harold's kind of talking about during the game and third base positioning. So he talks about, you know, he knows with his speed and bunting ability, if the third baseman is playing even with the bag, you know, that he's going to be able to bunt this ball for a hit. Okay. If he's playing behind the bag, then that's just a gimme. And he's going to almost just square around and just make sure that he has good direction. He bunts it out towards the third baseman because from that position, he can't get it. Or if the third baseman's playing over here and he's off the line, then he knows same thing. If he puts his ball down the line, there's no way this guy's going to get it. So that's checking the guy um, and his positioning during the game. But an interesting point that Juan Pierre talks about is going out pregame and checking the cut of the grass. So as a third, as a bunter, you know, when you look up, at least when I used to bump for hits and look out to the third baseman, right, sometimes you can't always tell if he's, you know, right even with the bag or a step or two behind or a step or two in. It's sometimes tough to tell, right, because you're not just going to stare down there at him. You have to kind of glance out of the corner of your eye. But what you usually can tell is, is the guy on the grass or is he not on the grass, right? That's easier to tell where his feet are. But the interesting thing is that Juan Pierre talks about is that the cut of the grass is always different on each field. So some fields, the cut might be just like this, where the cut of the grass is basically almost even. So if this guy, even if this guy is on the cut of the grass here, he's only a step or two in front of the base. At other fields, the cut may be way in here, right? So maybe instead of having the cut there, Let's just say the cut, you know, comes more like this. And so now if he's on the grass, if this is all if this is all dirt, right? If that's still dirt, and he's on the grass, well that's totally different, right? Because now he's another five, six, seven feet closer, maybe more, right? Or if he's, you know, if this is all I wish I had some brown here. Let's say again, that's all red dirt right there, right? And now let's say that he's playing in here, but he's still on the dirt, right? But he's still close because of the cut of the grass, okay? So you may look up and say, oh, man, he's on the dirt. I can lay that down. And all of a sudden you lay it down, and boom, the guy's an extra five, six, seven feet closer, and you're out. So it's important to know what the cut is like. So what Juan Pierre talks about is he goes out there before the game, and he goes and stands on the edge of the grass, and he looks in, and he measures, okay, how far is it away from the base, and how far am I away from home plate? And now he has an idea for that field and that cut. Okay, if the guy's playing on the dirt, I think I can bunt it. You know, I know I can bunt it because this is the distance. If he's playing on the grass, I either know I can bunt it or I can't. And it's going to change in every field. So really, really important. Don't just go by the, the base because, like I said, sometimes it's hard to see that. It's easier to see grass or dirt. And that is always changing depending on the field. No cut is the same on any field. So interesting stuff. Make sure you guys are checking before the game um, so that when the game happens and you peek down there, you know what you want to do. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Let me know if you guys have done this before um, in the comment section below or if this is totally new to you guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already. Give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Share the video with all your friends. Check out our Instagram, Antony Baseball, our Twitter feed, Man Antony 9. We're posting videos all the time for you guys. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.